Hi everybody, it's Janaya. Welcome back here to my channel. And I just wanted to pop on here for just a moment to talk about something that is a theme that just keeps coming up for me today. And it's that theme of wanting to have control. And this is something that you probably have experienced in your own life. I have already made a video about control being an illusion that I can link to this video at the end. But I wanted to bring it up because I'm just feeling this great sense of heaviness right now because we have so much happening in the world at the moment. And there's so much that we just simply do not have control over. That's just the reality, right? We just cannot control all of the hurt, all of the pain, all of the suffering and everything that is going on in the world right now. And sometimes I really like to be able to just go in, fix everything and, and control everything. And, you know, I remember years ago when uh, my mother used to have a blog and there were all these things that she talked about that were worldwide issues and then national issues and history and all of these things going on in the world. And I remember her sharing all of these um, tragedies really with me, all of these challenges that were going on in the world, all of these difficulties happening. And I just couldn't take it all in. I couldn't take it all in because I was aware of the fact that I couldn't do anything to make it all better right away. That my hands were tied in, in some respects. Like I couldn't just go and dissolve all those issues and, and make everything perfect and happy for everybody. So I just didn't want to listen to any of it. Because if I couldn't control it when I heard it, then why not just shut it all out? And now I'm kind of to the place where I'm not actually actively trying to shut out anything anymore. I'm allowing myself to be aware, but not aware to the point where I'm immersed in it, but more aware of, okay, these are the things that are realistically happening in the world right now. I don't want to just turn a blind eye to them and shut them out, but I also don't want to be so immersed in them that I can't live life at the same time and so that's part of what brings me to making the video because as you know you know I'd bring up some mental health topics and control or the ability the belief that we can control things has a huge impact on our mental health it can lead us to believing that we can somehow dictate what happens and doesn't happen for us that we somehow, based off of what we do or don't do, that will then guarantee for us that we're going to have the outcome that we want. And that's what's going to happen. And I'm just laughing here myself because we all know it doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen. We can sit there and we can be as prepared as we could possibly be. And still the thing that we don't want to have happen can still happen. So what can we do? What do we actually have control over? Like if we can prepare for anything and everything and still experience challenges, still experience pain, you know, then what do we do? Do we just throw our hands up in the air and say, well, forget it then, you know, I'm just gonna just go live as a hermit in a hole somewhere and just forget about life? And that's certainly not gonna help your mental health either right you know shutting out the world i mean we're we're social creatures by nature so shutting out everything and anything just as a way to try to control our environment 100 percent is just that's not going to work the brain likes to tell us that it will but it, it won't and so then what can we do if we can't go and we can't control everything if we can't guarantee for ourselves that we're going to get this particular outcome that we want or guarantee for ourselves that we're going to be able to stave off, you know, any kind of suffering or pain or difficulties in our lives. All right. What then? What then? 
And what then, the answer that comes up for me to share with you today is that the only thing that we can do and can continue to do on a regular conscious basis is to keep bringing our attention back to the present moment. Right now, in this second, what is going on? What do I need to do? Is there anything bad happening to me in this moment? And in actuality, no, nothing bad is happening to me in this moment. Okay, check. So what can I do? I can focus on what is physically in my environment now. Anything else outside of that is a distraction. But I can keep reminding myself moment by moment to come back to right now and just work on right now. Because as me working on what is in my immediate moment for me to address or deal with, is going to automatically, energetically be a help for everybody else in the world. Me sitting and worrying about global situations and other people and focusing on all of those stories and all of those events is not going to help anybody. So there's no point in that. That doesn't actually get anywhere. But by me working on my own passions, my own interests, that can then be put, those things can be put out to the world and then somebody can pick up on that and that may actually help them. And then so that has a ripple effect in a positive way towards other people because then they learn something and then they go and they share that and it keeps expanding and expanding and expanding, right? So I just wanted to come on to remind us that we have that power within us to recognize actually when we don't have control and to then say, all right, I know what I can and cannot realistically do right now. So what can I realistically do? And that's whatever is before me in my physical now moment. And that's it. And I can do the best I can do with that. And the same thing for you. You looking around in your physical now moment, what is before you right now that needs your attention and focusing on that? Because you doing that is going to be a benefit to everybody else around you. And then when they benefit, then they also are able to help benefit everybody else around them. And we have a positive ripple effect out into the world. So on that note, I'm going to sign off for right now. I'll be back again next week, if not earlier. In the meantime, you know, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please hit like, subscribe, you know, notifications, comment, everything, all those things you know that us YouTubers are going to ask you to do. It helps the algorithm. It helps keep everything kind of flowing. I appreciate it, you know, when you do that. I really, really do. It's a great help. Um, so thank you in advance for that. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves, and I will be back again soon. Bye-bye for now.